How about this? Oh, no, it's much too heavy, Mr. Grant. Uh, Goldie's book says it's what they're wearing back east. If I were to wear a dress made of this and try and do any work, I'd end up as a very large puddle with a hang of hair on top. Oh, this is a very interesting pattern. Yes, we're still a bit heavy, Mr. Grafton. Oh, but Goldie's is featuring this one. Well... Look mighty nice on you. It's a very pretty pattern. Well, I've got some cotton here. Ain't no. Mom, all the women wear cotton. Don't you have anything else? Mom. Well, it's very light. And very usual. Very Mom. usual. Well, let's see what else I can dig up here. Joey, Mom. now, you stay out of things. Now, this is a very pretty pattern, Miss Darrett. It's still too heavy, Mr. Grafton. Well, maybe you can find a lighter one. Well, what have we got here? Ah, here's something that you'll... Oh, no. But this is an awful pretty color. Look at that. Hold it up in front of you. I'm sorry, Mr. Grafton. I just can't see myself in that. Can I mend it? Sorry, son. You shouldn't stand in front of a swinging door. Here's an awful pretty check, Miss Darrett. Well, I Sam. wasn't really thinking of I red, some tobacco. Mr. Grafton. Red's a good color for you, too. Well, I don't know. Sam! Got a customer, Ruth. Sure do. Me. Oh, that's all right, Mr. Grafton. I'll wait. Tobacco, huh? Yeah, and some wire cutters. Wire cutters. Mom, what's this? It's an advertisement for a dance in Vieto. Where's Vieto? I don't know. It's a mining town, about three days away. Can we go to the dance? Oh, that would be nice, Joey. But I don't think we could leave the farm without anyone on it. What's the matter, Miss Starr? Do you think I'd do anything to that farm of yours? Yes, I do. Here's your tobacco and your wire cutters. On my bell. Have a good time at your dance. There you are, Joey. Don't forget my hat. Joey. Thank you, Mr. Rafter. <laughs> uh, that's the good thing about living in a big town. Get enough money and people to have a real nice sociable evening. Couldn't do that here in Crossroads. No, I suppose we couldn't. Yeah, I wish we could. <laughs> Riker mentioned a dance, but I didn't think he meant in here. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Grafton. Joey left his hat again. What's this about a dance, Sam? It's all in here. Shame you can't go, Miss Darrett. would sure like it. Yeah, I bet she would.
Where do I go next? Elbow. Your turn. Where are you? Right where I started from. Missed again. Are you letting me win? Don't I wish. Hey, Grandpa, do you know how to dance? Well, I'm sorry. My card's all filled up for tonight. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> Why? Because there's going to be a dance Saturday night. There is? You know anything about a dance? Yeah, in theater. Next Saturday night. Can't we go, Grandpa? I've never been to a dance before, and Mom said there'd probably never be one here. A long time since she went to a dance. It's been a long time for me, too. Never. <laughs> Can't we go, Grandpa? Please. I right, stop pestering me. I expect we'd all like to go, but this farm isn't going to run itself. I know, but... No buts about it now. Who's going to tend the stock and mend the fences? We could ask Mr. Howell. Mr. Howell's got a farm of his own to tend to. Sorry, Joey, but it's impossible. Stop is ready. It sure smells good. We never get to go anywhere. Well, you can go wash your hands for a start. Oh, Grandpa. <laughs> Shane, don't you think we should go to the dance? I don't know that unless we try. Supper's ready. Get to work. <laughs> Look at that. What do you think of that? What is it? That's a stereopticon. Shows pictures. Just like being there. Golly. <laughs> Why don't we leave him for the dance? What? Well, it's three days to theater. If we're going to get there by Saturday, we better start making some plans. You heard what I told Joey. Yeah, I heard it. It all adds up. It all makes sense. But it's not going to get us to the dance, so we might as well forget it. Well, we've got a responsibility here. It's just not logical that we... It's just not human to always be logical, Tom. I want to go to that dance, don't you? Well, sure, I want to go, but... So would I. How about you, Marion? Oh, it doesn't matter one way or the other to me. Joey, your mother just told a fib. She did? She's being noble and long-suffering, and that won't get us to the dance either. You know darn well we can't go. But I say we can. The first thing we've got to do is decide we will. Tom, it's one thing to grow vegetables. It's another thing to be one. You're building everybody here up to a big letdown. Now, there's no way in the world we can go to be Well, why not? Oh, well, will you two please be quiet? I do not want to go to any dance. That's a fib. Oh, Joey. Honey? I didn't know it meant that much to her. Marion. Honey? Well, if you've got any notion how we can get there. Come on, Joey, let's go for a ride. Where to? I'm going to take you someplace where you can see a stereopticon. Oh, sweet. Wait a minute. Only stereopticon I know of in this valley belongs to Roof Riker. That's right. Joey, go get my horse out of the stall. What are you going over there for? Let me see if I can get him to lay off the place so we can go to that dance. Oh, sure, after he holds his breath for a month. I'm not looking for a victory, Tom. Just a six-day truce. But... Taking Joey there. The same reason I'm not taking my gun. There's going to be a quiet conversation. Peaceful as can be. You must have lost your senses. Just because you people want to go to a dance, I'm supposed to leave your place alone? I'm surprised you don't ask me to slop the hogs for you. I would if I thought you could handle the job. That remark just cost the widow Starrett a dance. It really make you feel better if we don't go. Yes. Of course, there is one way she could get to go. All you'd have to do is stay here and guard the place. That way I couldn't do anything, could I? And I bet that she and the old man and the boy would have a fine time. You'd like to go to the dance, wouldn't you, son? Not if Shane doesn't go. Well, that's just a pity, because Shane ain't going. And I think that ends the talking. What are you doing? Huh? 
High card, Riker. High card? You got nothing to bet? We'll tear down the fence between your land and Buffalo Creek. You can cross the Sterrett Farm to get there. I draw high, you take down the fence and you stay here. You draw high? We go to the dance and you lay off the farm. You cheat and I'll kill you. Ten. Hey, what are you doing? Already shuffled. I know. Oh, Shane, you only got a one. It's enough, Joy. Take the boy and get. Hi, Mr. Riker. And thank you for letting me look at your stereopticon. You're welcome. Good night. being all that reasonable. He wasn't being reasonable. He didn't have much choice. Are you sure? He gave his word. Tom? Well, Riker's an old goat, but if he gave his word, I'd take a chance on it. Mom, are you going to go? Well, Joey, I'll tell you. La, 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 I'd say we're going. La, 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 La 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 Oh, you're just gonna love it, Joey. There's gonna be bands and music and more people than you've ever seen in all your life. And there'll be booths with games where you can win prizes. I'm getting dizzy. <laughs> <gasps> oh! What's the matter? What am I gonna wear? Well, you can always cut down your wedding dress. No, you shouldn't do that. The lavender lace. That's what I'll wear. <laughs> I never saw your mother act like that. Did you, Joy? No, sir. in bed. Just a little while longer. I want to see what mom looks like. All right. What's the matter? Didn't it fit? It's beautifully, but you're not going to see me in it till we get to Vieta. I ride old paint, I lead an old band. I go to Montana to throw the hood in. They feed in the coulee, they water in the draw. Thanks a lot!
it a long time ago. This dress happens to be older than you, Joey. How come it isn't all worn out? Because I never got to wear it. I bought it for a very fancy party. Then a thunderstorm came along, washed out a bridge. I never got there. So in a way, this dress is brand new. What's for supper, Mom? You'll find out when I give it to you. I haven't seen her like this in I don't know when. I knew this dance would do her a lot of good. Yeah, I'm glad you thought of it. <laughs> yeah, it was a good idea, wasn't it? Hey. Listen. Listen to what? <laughs> Just magpies. They'll take what they want and leave. And I go. Where the hungry? Oh, Jamal! Oh, Jamal, do it! 
Jars of beef, a jar of preserves, about all the food that's left. And I got the rifle and the shotgun, and all the ammunition. They didn't find this. Six bullets. It's not much. You know what else they took? My sleeve garters. Now, what would they want with my sleeve garters? They like loud, flashy, cheap-looking things. Thank you very much. <laughs> Shh, Joey's asleep. Hey, that smells good. What is it? Leftovers. What they left over. Slum gullion? The best thing in the world. You want some, Shane? Not until we get something settled. I know how you both feel. It'd be real easy to just stick our tails between our legs and run back home. Well, that's just exactly what we're not going to do. Shane! Now, there's plenty of game in these hills, enough to get us there. There's no problem about food. It's only two days to Vietnam. Shane! Now, Marion, you want to go. And Joey deserves to go. Your son has never even seen or heard a piano. Now, I know it's not going to be an easy trip, but it's one we're going to make. Shane! Now, don't fight me on it. I'm not. I don't want to turn back. You don't? No. Oh. Must be hard for a man as tall as you to stick his foot as far back in his mouth as you did. That's enough, Wood. I'll say. Shane, do you like to dance that much? Well, I don't know, Joey. What's that much? Well, you sure are set in getting us to Vieter. Not for him, it's for your mother. Does she like to dance that much? Joey, I really don't know if your mother likes to dance at all. Then why are we going? Well, because every woman, even a mother, 
Wants to have one night when she can be fussed over and pampered. Like a princess in the story, huh? Yeah, something like that. Not just for your mother, though. You're gonna have quite a time there yourself. Why? Wait till you see your first fireworks. Probably won't be able to get you to go home. Is it really that special? Fireworks are about as special as anything can be. Huh? <laughs> yes, sir. Why, it's like your birthday, Fourth of July, and Christmas. All rolled into one. You're just teasing. <laughs> oh. No, he's not, Joey. He's absolutely right. You'll see. What are they coming back here for? We haven't got anything left to steal. Harry! Tom, I'm really all right. There's no need to fuss over me. I think I was more frightened than hurt. Well, it's our fault. Should have known they'd come back. How could you know? How could anyone know? Well, it's a darn shame. Tom, it's only a dress. It's not the end of the world. Look, it's only a day in the theater. We can ride in there and get you a dress before the dance. No, thank you, Tom. It's all right, but it just wouldn't work. When your name's Marion Starrett, you just don't go to dances. You do the cleaning and the laundry and you cook and you sew. You do not go to dances. It's as simple as that. Tom, give me a hand out here, will you? Where are you going? I'm going to get that dress back. When your name is Marion Sterrett, you don't go to dances. I'm going to prove she's wrong. Here. You may need that. Where's he going? After that Indian. Tom, it's just a dress. No. No, honey, it's not just a dress. Any more than Shane is just a hired man.
You are not a man. Does a man steal from women? It is important to your woman? Yes. It is important to my woman. We did not steal it. Red man steal dress, white man steal land. Which man is worst thief? I do not bargain with you. If a man will not bargain, will a man fight? You help me fix the trap. I know. Well, what I mean is, that, well, there's nothing we can do about it, is there? No, sir. <laughs> I'll admit he's cute and all I that. I named him. You did? I named him Leslie on account of us not knowing whether he's a boy or a girl. That works for both. Yeah. Well, you know, it's not right to keep a wild thing for a pet. But it's all right to eat him, huh? Tom, I'm not all that hungry, are you? No! No, now that you come to mention it, I'm not hungry at all. Let him go, Joy. Back where we found him? Back where we found him. Oh, shut up. I hear you. I knew you'd make it. Did you get Mom's dress? Yep, I did. How did you do it? With difficulty. I don't know how to thank you. Just look pretty in it. That'll be thanks enough. Where are you going now? In the theater. Aren't we all going in together? Well, there'll be tickets to buy. And I'll have to find some place to stable the horses. I want everything to be taken care of when we get there. I want things to be right. And you're gonna do it all yourself? If you'll let me. See you in town. James! 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 What? This is Leslie. Good name. Suits him. I'll see you later, Shane. I'll see you. Honey, we're going to a dance. What do you think of that? I think... I 
think I better go get ready. <laughs> scare a man to death that way, young fella. Sorry. Just want to know how much farther it is to Vieter. Not an inch. What? You're there. This is Vieter. I used to be. Old man, this is a ghost town. <laughs> sure thing. Has been for the past six months. <laughs> Ever since the mines flooded. Things petered out. Every blessed person packed up and pulled out. No, no, there's a dance here. The 23rd, 10th anniversary. That was a year ago. Things was going full blast then. <laughs> hey, did you get things mixed up? <laughs> hey, I say you did. <laughs> Just a little mistake. Just a year. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah. <laughs> Just a little year's mistake. Huh? <laughs> Just a little year's mistake. <laughs> back there something. Where's all the people, Shane? There aren't going to be any people, Joey. The dance was... Was what? That poster you got in Grafton's. It was a year old. Won't there be any fireworks, Grandpa? Oh, I guess not, boy. We going home? About the only place left to go, isn't it? I was the one that talked all of you into coming out here. I thought it was something you wouldn't do by yourselves. I guess it was my way of saying thank you. Wasn't it your fault, Shane? We all made the same mistake. Yeah. Only I made it bigger. Better get some water. There's a stream down by the end of the street. Water the horses there. Come on, Billy. That's a boy.
We'll make a bargain, you and I. We'll agree that this whole trip never happened. We'll never talk about it. That's a fair bargain. If you could promise that neither of us would ever think about it. I wish I could promise that. Marion. Shane, I heard you tell Joey a dance was a woman's thing. It's not. It's just a human thing. It's a time when human beings are together. And they talk. They open themselves to each other. Marianne. Tom and Joey would have enjoyed it so much. May I take your wrap? You brought that dress all the way from Crossroads. Don't you want anybody to see it? Lady over there seems to know you. Why, thank you, thank you. That was uh, quite a compliment she just paid you. And maybe you didn't hear her. She said your dress is beautiful, and so are you. A compliment like that deserves a reply. Come on. Why, this old thing? It's been in a trunk for years. But thank you. Thank you very much. It was nice of her to say that. Would you like some punch? That sounds fine. Oh, beg your pardon? Excuse us? Uh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Yes, we just came down from Crossroads. Yes, it was. Quite a trip. Quite a trip. May we have some punch, please? Thank you. I must say, you're looking very handsome tonight. I've never seen you in a tie before. Well, enjoy it while you can. Because tomorrow I'll be my old scruffy self again. But not tonight. No. Tonight's different. Shane, I think the music started. Sure of that boy. Uh... 